Hey guys, I am Kat Navarro and I'm here at the opening night of Free Outgoing at East West Players. And I'm here with one of the wonderful actors, Dilip Rao, who plays one of the stars who, your character was a, had some moments of uh, very anger, <laughs> of anger and of uh, emotion. Tell me a little bit about what it's like to, to be at a play here at East West Players. Uh, well, it's just an honor, I think, if you're any kind of actor who knows your history, just to be at a place that's been so functionally important to actors working in America, whether you're Asian or not. I happen to be Asian American, so it means even more to me. Uh, there's a long history of employing actors who, you know, didn't get work in a lot of different fields that we should get work in, I guess you could say, but now those fields are starting to open up, but this has been a home for actors who are Asian to do great work and original work and work they couldn't find in every medium all the time and it's just a great honor for me and it's one of the reasons why I'm here. Definitely, it's so great to be able to see a cast up there that's uh, diverse and you play the character of Santosh, which, which is a, your son is involved in this whole scandal. How is it like getting into the, that character and having to deal with issues of like social media and being a, a dad and relating that with all the stuff going on in today's media? Well, I think you you know, you know have to have like a, a template psychologically of what you think of it before the event happens, right? Yeah. And who he is. And then the event happens and suddenly he's like scrambling to try to fix it. Uh, I think the most important aspect of his character is knowing that like, you know, like all acting, what happens in the scene is what matters the most. And in that scene, there's a really important point where he realizes he can't save both their kids. Yeah. So he's just going to save his. And uh, I had to find that and I'm glad I did. So it's a serious play, but there's funny moments. Do you have any favorite parts? Uh, I think I like the revelations the most. I like, you know, this is a play that, you know, it's obviously there's many different characters in it, but this woman who's the center of it and uh, Anna does such a great job in it, 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 she has to carry a lot of the play and a lot of like what happens to her is what we see. And, yeah. and the revelations she experiences over and over again, those are the things I take away from it going, this is super interesting to watch, like someone having to contend with their own idea of what their society is like and what conservatism is and what Indianness is like, and then she has to have it stripped away from her, you know? And she does a wonderful job of that, so I like that. Yeah, and what ethnicity are you? Are you Indian? Yeah, my parents are from India. Did you have to know how to speak the language or anything like that and in your audition or anything? Uh, no, no I didn't. I, I, I think uh, Snehal knew I could do the accent, so it works. Yeah, you did the accent very well. well. I should hope so. That's great. Do you feel like being in this helps you get in touch with your, your roots? Did you grow up here? Uh, I, yeah, I was born here. I grew up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think anytime you work on material that references cultures that you're a part of, or in India, like many other countries, you know, it's not homogeneous. It's not a monolithic culture. There's many different kinds of culture. And this is about South Indian culture in Chennai. And uh, my dad has some roots near there. So it is interesting to see Tamil and Tamil languages and stuff like that come up and you know, experience it. It's fun. Well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed watching you and we appreciate you speaking about your experience. It's a pleasure talking to you as well. Bye. Thank you.